What's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Um, if you haven't before, please drop a like, comment and subscribe. It really helped me out grow the channel back to where it was. Um, as well as, yeah, comments on the video will be, will be fantastic. Um, if you're new here, it's just a bit of a channel to talk about Leeds United and, and my opinion from the other side of the world. Um, so obviously last night uh, for me, well it was 11.30 at night, the game started for me here in Australia. Um, FA Cup and we're through to the fifth round, which is the first time in a while um, from what I can remember. Um, don't know who I want to get. Obviously, an easier team would be better. I'd like to try and get as far as possible. Um, but beat, we won 3-0. Um, I've got to admit, the game started pretty slowly. I thought we were, I thought we were the worst team in the first half, especially. Um, there was patches where we played quite well. Um, obviously, the Jack Harrison goal was fantastic. Brilliant finish. Um, Steven Gerrard-esque. Um, but I just thought we were really, really poor. I thought we were um, losing the ball too easily. I thought at the back we were we, we were conceding a lot of chances. Melier didn't play the best today, and I'm a big fan of Melier, but today was, was one of those days where he probably deserved a bit of a slaughtering for it. But, um, yeah, I think we struggled to get into the game, and I think... Um, we let uh, we let Accrington, um dictate the play. They were all over us, and and look, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not saying that um, that we were poor or anything. But this, this happens in the FA Cup. This happens in tournament football, where um, you know lower teams turn up to to play against Leeds and and bigger teams. Um, but at the end of the day, we score three goals. Um, Every single one of them was fantastic movement or a goal. Um, all very, very good. Bamford with two assists. Um, he's back. He seems to be doing quite. He's doing quite well. He's starting to get all the confidence. Um, Ruta or Rutter. Rutter looked very, very good. I really liked him. Good on the ball. Um, could have had a goal, um, especially early on. He had one that he pulled. He dragged just wide. Um, so he's unlucky not to score, but showed the difference in quality. Um, on the ball compared to other players. Um, and interesting, he's playing two up top. So we'll see what happens there. I think obviously things are going to change up. Jesse Marsh saying after the game that um, he's starting to see the performances and, and consistency that he believes the team should have. Um, if that's the case, maybe we do see, see Leeds pushing on and really um, getting a run of games going. That's four good performances in a row. Uh, I wouldn't say that was... I wouldn't say it was a good performance, but I'd say it was it was it was passable. We score three goals and we win, so it's passable. Um, but I wouldn't say I think we play against, like we play like that against any other uh, Premier League team, and I think we get beat. Um, we were just very very leaky at the back again. Oh, sorry, not leaky. We only conceded one, but a better team would have put a lot of those chances away. Um, but except for that, Furpo gets the second goal. Good finish. Well worked. Um, and we finished off with a Cine, um Sinistera uh, finish, which was a good little finish. Um, the last goal, we, we can't keep a clean sheet. That's five goals in three games against teams who are struggling in their own leagues, respectively. Um, Cardiff and um, Accrington are both, well, I think Cardiff might be in the relegation zone or fighting it, and Accrington's like 20th in League One, so... Really good putting these teams to the sword without conceding. Um, it's just and it was a poor goal to concede again. But um, look, I, I don't want to make it too much of a negative because it is it is a win. We are through the next stage, um, and it was positive in that sense. Just I think the performance was okay. I, I wouldn't say it was fantastic, but the quality was the difference with the players that we had. Uh, Verba was very very good again. Him and I thought Robin Cock played quite well. Um, but against this sort of quality play, um, team, you should you'd be expecting that we should be playing well. <laughs> um, Melia I thought had some mistakes today. Um, luckily he wasn't punished for it, um, and obviously you can see it at the end. Um, and yeah, I thought overall it was a good game, an okay enough game. I think there's some good performances in there. Like I said, Rudder was fantastic. Um, Jack Harrison played in the middle of the park with Greenwood. It came up as a four four two on the um, pre match, but when it started playing, it didn't feel like a four four two. It felt like it might have gone to a four three three at some point, and Rudder went a bit more out wide. But either that or in transition, it was changing. Um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a strange strange one. I couldn't quite pick it, but I think. 
uh, a four four two might be the way to go and becoming more a bit more defensively uh, sound. Um, Western McKinney sounds like it's all but done. Um, we're going to have some real headaches here about who gets picked. I mean, McKenney's just coming from Juventus, and while I don't know if he's, you know, I, I don't, he didn't, he wasn't starting. It was Moose that was starting next to Adams in the USA squad. Does does Weston McKenney start? Does he play over Mark Rocker? Do we play three in the middle? Um, who knows? I think Aronson. Aronson's going to come off the bench from now, and if I'm honest with you, I think he needs to be given a rest. Um, him and Rodrigo came on. I don't really know why. I think probably didn't need to bring players on like that. I think you should maybe have left Rudder on to play, but unless he's got plans for him. And, um, Jesse March interestingly, interestingly said that you can tell that he already picked up the system. He already understands the system and how he wants it to be played. Um, and and pretty much that he's going to... It sounds like he's pretty much ready to fit straight in, which would be fantastic because, you know, the blooding in stage can be a pain, but he, he did mention it's going to take a couple of games. So we may not see him in the next game um, starting, but he's a really positive player. And I don't know if he's going to score heaps of goals, but... Um, I think it might be like a bit like Rafinha where he'll get you ten goals in a season, hopefully, and which is nothing to sniffle at. But if he if he even got you like eight eight goals and you know eight assists or something, um, and his hold up play was really good, I think um, his touch let him down a little bit at times, but uh, overall he he looks really really quality on the ball. So um, yeah, very happy through the next round, um, and we. We got to kill off a game that was difficult. The second half started off difficult as well. They they were really pressing us, winning the ball. They were quite strong um, in the challenge and 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 you know getting a lot of two two two, in, two into a tackle and yeah, hard to hard to sort of get my head around. We, we just couldn't seem to get past them, and it, it's it's tough watching Leeds at the moment because it's not fun football to watch um, by any stretch of the imagination. But it is. It's high pressing. There can be goals in it. It's just a case of if we score the, if you know we've got the quality to finish the goals for the day. But they're adding players who are more and more quality. Um, so I've got to say that hopefully the second half of the season, Jesse Marsh is right with with saying that he sees us turning a corner now and that it's going to gel the team have started to gel and really understand what he wants um which fingers crossed I, I really hope so because we've got a month coming up that's quite important i think we've got man united in there which right now the way they're playing we're, we'll be lucky to pick up a point but you know we've got to start beating teams um we have the quality now to beat teams we should be winning some games um like i said every, every team that stays up um, ends up having a purple patch at some point. And that's the difference between, you know, finishing 17th and finishing the relegation zone is having a little purple patch that gets you through. Um, picking up points from now, like one, like drawing isn't really good enough either. Like maybe drawing away, but we've got to start winning some home games. You've got to make that place a fortress. Allen Road has to be a fortress. Um, but it's positive. Look, it's four games on the bounce now where we've looked quite good. Again, we should have beaten Aston Villa. Unlucky not to get points there, but that's what I mean. Sometimes you, you know, you're gonna play, play um, teams off the park and just not pick up results. So, um, gotta start picking up three points and start winning ugly. Um, we need to stop conceding goals. It's ridiculous. But if you've enjoyed the video, um, again, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to get myself back up to 550 subscribers after I went missing and and people left. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. Um, share my videos around. I'm going to make a Twitter this week and, and maybe put out some um, some content, maybe make a TikTok and just put my videos out and hope that maybe people see it and jump over to the channel. Um, TikTok's a bit different though because it's not really made for this sort of stuff and if I jump on there, could get ripped apart. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it for Twitter and, and I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll tweet out when I'm, I'm putting a video up. So at least you guys know that it's coming and I can give you updates, um, and not go missing again. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.